Okay, and welcome to Cliffside. It's our first order of business for this city. I decided to name it Cliffside. It just sounds nice. It's a city of Cliffside in the Midway region. So, a little bit of update. We're going to, um, looks like we got a little bit of glitch going on there. There we go. Got to fix quickly. Anyway, a little bit of an update. We uh, started off with some residential and commercial area down here, some uh, money-making area. I'm not sure what we're going to put up here yet, but we definitely want to put our dirty stuff uh, up here because the wind blows from the side, so I figured I'd like that higher up. Uh, we have this entrance for now, and I'm not too stoked about it. I did an okay job not too great. So, um, we may work on that today. We'll see how the money is flowing. As you can see, we're, we're a little bit under right now. I think I have, uh, I think I have a little bit too much money spent on services at the moment. However, We should expand a little bit more. Hopefully we can get a little bit more money. I wonder how close these guys are to upgrading. Um, coming along. Got a little, little ways to go. So we'll still add on some more. Using the road guidelines for now. I will uh, craft a different area later on, or a different, uh, different residential section later on. I have some medium wealth, so I don't want to increase the taxes past 11 right now. We are losing a little bit of money. So maybe what we'll have to do is shut off one of these services if we can, or shut it down a little bit. Still got a lot of deaths per day and everything. We can close down a couple of these education levels. Get ourselves back in the black as far as uh, expenses go. Seven hundred fifty, and hopefully the uh, the services here will increase our happiness, which it seems to be doing. So we'll we'll increase our uh, density in this area as well, making obviously more money then. But starting off from scratch is always a little bit of slow going. So we'll do a little bit of uh, overview planning talk. Um, this is the region, called it Midway. I think on this center island here, we're going to have, uh, in these three, we're gonna, this one's going to be mostly manufacturing. I, I, I've decided I'm gonna do uh, an industrial city uh, here, because this is also our, our kind of seed city for the rest of the region. So we're gonna do an industrial city here at Cliffside. Uh, it's going to manufacture electronics because that's an easy way to make money, and I have done it many times before, and it, and it works really well. I, I think over here, and or over here, we're going to do quite a bit of uh, commercial, um, and and maybe one or the other spots we'll do uh, an amusement park. I'm, I'm thinking uh, an amusement park would be really cool next to the water here. We'll have to see how how they look um, as time progresses. For the great work, I know it's boring, but I think for this one, we're going to do a, uh, for, for this island anyway, we're going to do a, um, an arcology. So that way we have a lot of population to, for everything that's here, um, so we can run everything without having to worry too bad about, about so much population. Over on this island, I think we're going to do a, uh, an airport for the great work. I haven't built one of those yet, I think that'll be fun. And I haven't decided what we're going to put in, in much of the cities yet, but we'll take that as we go. Over on this side, let's get a little closer. 
I think we're going to put a, uh, a space center in the Great Works. Uh, again, haven't built one of those yet, and uh, that'll be fun. Surprising, I have so many hours into this game, and, and I pretty much just built Arcologies, so... Um, again, not sure what we're going to do here. We'll kind of take that as we go. Mostly probably to fund this. Uh, probably a lot of tourism. Um, especially down here in this little Bay Area. That'll be nice. Um, I know I know there's a lot of tourists and education, so maybe, maybe we'll do some industrial areas um, up on the, on, on the higher area there. But let's go back to Cliffside. Continue trying to make a little money. In that spirit, and thinking about it, since we have some, um, uh, obviously, an unemployment crisis <laughs> and some demand for uh, industrial, start zoning some industrial up here. Some of this is going to get taken out when I put the, um, the garbage incinerators on. but we'll have expanded quite a bit by then. And I am starting with medium density streets. I figure that gives us the quickest jump to get going. I don't like how this is currently. Again, I, I think we're going to replan how this uh, exit from the highway onto, um, well, really probably a couple sections of this industrial area works. Uh, in fact, we might move some of it down here, uh, do a tunnel coming up into the middle of even the far side of the city, or the, the cliff here. So, inside here. It's all about making the money. And most of this is temporary. We'll obviously do a nice redesign once we uh, save up a few bucks. If anybody watching live would like to comment, feel free. I am always open to suggestions. Or even if you're watching after the fact on uh, YouTube. Uh, obviously, you won't be able to change anything I'm doing right now, but we can always plan for the future. Some petitions to build wells. There are um, a couple of good uh, raw ore deposits up here. Let me see. So we've got this area here that I was thinking about mining in this area here that I definitely am going to mine. So let's build let's build our mine over here. Maybe we can start raking in a few more well, they're not dollars, they're simoleons, but close enough. Let's actually just do a dirt road for this. That's all it really needs. We can start kind of far, not really far out, but out a little bit. So we can find the optimal placement when we can afford it. And actually, we could take out a loan to afford it, or we could wait a while. Forget how much they are. 22,000. So we, we would have to wait quite some time, and, and we actually want to start making some money here. And we can afford to pay for the hourly rate. So, the decision is made. We're going to take out some money. So our last bond, which I'm always a little scared to take, just because, well, I might mess up, and it's nice to have that <laughs> bailout as an option. Let's connect these roads. Oh, hey. Looks like we got a few people upgrading to medium density. Excellent. I'm going to need to build two things. Trade Depot, which I think we're going to put just on the outside here.
In fact, we'll do two lots. And then the other thing, of course, that we need to build is the mine itself. Let's find a good spot for that. And 335, 33 out here. I kind of want to do something like this, which would make it a little easier to take advantage using the um, the actual add-ons. Pretty much out of money for now. I think these are 14, 16. Yeah, you put sign up though. Make sure that we're actually exporting that ore. We'll get a few shipments of that out, and then maybe I'll demolish up here and build a uh, build another ore mine. Now we're actually starting to produce something. And we got some medium density stuff going on down here. Which is good. We will start making some money from taxes. Maybe maybe pay off our loans. almost there on uh, being able to build an add-on. So that's going to be our main money-making source to really get started is the ore mine. And maybe we'll even progress through and and make our own alloy and only import um, plastic, which would be cool. In fact, we could make our own alloy and then do recycling in this city and only recycle plastic. That could make it even cooler. We'll see. We'll have to see what we can do to make money and uh, what sort of approvals we reach. I, I don't generally go for the smelting factory um, and, and other such uh, add-ons for those because it's just as easy to buy it. But it, is, it would be fun to just make everything ourselves. While we're waiting, I can describe a couple of the mods that I use. Um, I'm generally more in favor of mods that don't change the way the game plays. Uh, however, I do use one of those called the uh, called X Oxide's Raise and Lower Bridge Mod Tool. I think it is. Basically, uh, it just helps you build better bridges and, and tunnels to make them flatter. When you, when you lower tunnels or, or even raise bridges, and also give you a little bit more um, granularity in um, in the levels that, that you can choose, so you, so you can kind of layer stuff a little bit better. It's a, it's a really cool mod, and um, like I say, even though I'm generally in favor of mods that don't change gameplay, that one that one does in, in a good way, uh, much in the way that the, the NAM system does for um, for SimCity 4. So, it's good stuff. It's a good thing. <laughs> I also okay. Let's place one of these. Right, three forty-four, three seventy-three. Let's start here. 
I also have a couple of other mods that I use. You may have noticed the jobs panel. Helps display which uh, which jobs are being filled. Uh, it also works on, on residential buildings to tell you who's there and when. Um, obviously this information is available in the population map as well. Um, but it's a, it's a little bit more visible this way and, and you can kind of tell how how businesses are faring. Um, like these guys, I, I've got enough workers to get them open, but not enough to fill them out. Plus, of course, I don't have that many medium wealth workers. Uh, another great one that, that I really like is the, um, uh, where is it here? This one. The expenses map. It's good to know where your money is going. It tells you what's taking the most of your money. Um, it's not a, not a game changer. But sometimes something might be sucking up a lot of money, you might not realize it. Or you might just be looking for ways to cut corners, and uh, this will help show you. One of the added benefits that I don't know if it was intended, but I really like, is you may notice these buildings are under construction, but they're black in this view. Uh, that's because they're turned off. In, in fact, you can see um, right here, I turned off this top level of the grade school, uh, uh, one of these schools, because I didn't need that many classrooms yet. You can see it's black on there, so it can help identify things that maybe you've gone through and turned off in the past and, and forgotten, <laughs> like I do sometimes, that you had turned them off. So, very helpful in that, in that respect. I also added the pink line mod, which is really something that was in SimCity in, in early builds, but went away, um, maybe because it wasn't that, that informative. And, oh, and you're not going to see it yet. But on the industrial map, you would see a pink line being drawn from the university or the community college. Um, and I believe the, the, since the academy affects tech level 2, it would be drawn from the academy. Um, that will show um, just how, how the tech level is getting to the industry, how, how well it's reaching it to help the industry increase its tech level. Uh, so, a couple interesting mods. Uh, that, that have been floating around, and this is even before every you know we have offline mode, and, and they say the modding's just gonna bloom. <laughs> I certainly hope so. We'll we'll see how it goes. Um, one other one that I did uh, install that I that I like I, I ne nearly forgot about is the trees anywhere mod. Uh, this one is a little bit of a game changer, as it were, but. Um, it basically takes these roadside trees, the rustling and the shade tree and the swaying tree and stuff, and um, lets you plop them anywhere. Just uh, you know, out well, not off the <laughs> not off the grid, but anywhere anywhere in the in the map. So you can see right here we'll place one right there. Place trees. So in areas where, for instance, this kind of tree might not grow or might not grow in thickly enough as I like, you know, necessarily between buildings or something, you can help increase things and make it look nice. And just like the uh, roadside trees, you can delete them, but you do have to delete them individually. So uh, so that that's kind of a pain sometimes, but now it depends. And it looks like we're making really good money per hour. I think this means it's about time to move our sewage system which I believe we're actually gonna we're gonna hmm, we're gonna have to move this solar power plant too, because I want to place the sewage system back here. And I'm not sure where I want to put that power plant yet, or if that was even a great place for it. Let's find a permanent home for this solar power plant. I think we're since this comes really close to the edge of this uh, cliff, we're just gonna extend this. And we're going to put the power plant back here. Because this curves in in an interesting way, and I think I'm going to put uh, the train station here at kind of a diagonal, because this part is really curvy and might be a pain to get a uh, train station to fit nicely and, and be have the road be kind of even and, and flat. This is going to be a little, little bit expensive, and um, we should wait for daylight. Uh, in the meantime, we'll place another one of these. What do we have? 368. 325, 341. Let's take 368. And place the second one of these. 
things should get more exciting when we have a little bit more money. I guess that's true with life in general. And since we're low on power, too, we'll be able to uh, add on to that. Of course, if I took utilities as the first upgrade, often we'll take Department of Safety as the second. It's kind of the two things you need right off the bat. Just waiting for daylight and a couple more dollars to place another uh, solar plant, and then we'll demolish this one. While solar plants charge their battery during the day so they work at night, if you plop one, they don't actually start up right away, <laughs> which is not helpful. About 6 a.m. here, we'll be able to pop that. And we won't demolish the other one until we give this one some more panels. And as I said, I think this is going to be the permanent home for our solar farm. Eventually, we'll get a university in this city. Power dots are so tiny. Put the sign down. Don't know if it helps, but whatever. It's a sign. As soon as that one finishes charging, we can demolish this plane. Have an abandoned building. Ah, down here. Couldn't find work. Well, we're working on it. We'll get some more work or some more industrial here soon. Power is slowly coming down here to these lower levels. We'll add on another panel here so we have plenty of power. Oh, 14? 16. Oh, wait, just a little bit longer. We have enough people in our city to turn on our last level here. Oh, that's right. Couldn't place it. Obviously, we're low on water here. <coughs> I'm going to place another one of these for the moment. But we will be replacing that with uh, a larger water pumping station. We'll get the money and put that over here. 
as well. So if you look at the water, I think we're going to put the sewage treatment plant right here. And then we'll put the water plant right down here. This will give me some, some room to mess with the roads a little bit. So I think I'm going to straighten this out and use this little, to make a little cubby there. And uh, use that for a couple entrance, you know, an entrance and exit maybe. Um, to the, the uh, industrial section up here. And then I'm not sure what we're going to do with this. Maybe we keep it, um, maybe we add another section down here. I haven't decided quite yet how that's going to go. <laughs> We'll extend this industrial some. And I know I have a bit of extra room up here. I was trying to mess with this and, uh, you know, watch for this part and also play off of where this is, so I'm going to live with it. Normally I, I might, I don't know, mess with it, try to get it closer. I don't feel like doing that in this section. I think this is going to be sufficient. How much do we need for this? 64,000. Okay, so we may need to temporarily place another one of these. Just as a stopgap. closer. I'm going to take this opportunity to pay down some of these loans. Because then we can take one as soon as we get a little bit more and then just build it right away. And so I think what we're going to do is just draw straight across here. Let's look at that water map. Yeah. We're just going to draw straight across here. We're going to use a medium density street since that's what we're using most of the time right now. And we're just going to draw straight across here. A little more. Go up to there. Now, let's take that loan out and build this. You're going to place it pretty much up against the cliff here. Now we can build a community college. We could put the community college up here for a little while until we move the university. Ah, that reminds me. Oh, yeah, this is this is full. Reminds me, let's finish building these. 32, 22, 37. Alright. I think we took a pretty good advantage of that.
I'm debating where I'm going to place <coughs> the HQs. So I really could put them anywhere. And I think it might look cool to put them up along the ridge here. But then it might also look cool to put them along the base here, next to the cliff. I'm not sure yet. We'll decide as we go. We got we got some time. Because I'll also need to do um, the trade HQ when we have that one. Finish upgrading this. And we can delete our sewage pipes up here because they are now obsolete. And a couple upset people. Some farm shops or parks. But the next guy over says a great place is to shop. Okay. Let's put, uh, we got some commercial need. So let's put a block of commercial in here. Give those people somewhere to shop, somewhere to work. Got industry increasing. Good, good. And Mayor's Mansion. We can put that down. Why not? Let's make this end of the street happy. It's also got a few jobs, if you didn't know. So now we got enough money for our water. We can put one of these in. And get rid of the other pumps. Well, I think we're mostly going to build this sideways. So, I'm going to put the water somewhere right over here. And I wonder if we have enough room to just build a nice little tunnel here. Hmm, doesn't really seem to want to do that. Yeah, it's not so we can't draw through place buildings. So you know what, we got a bunch of extra money right now, let's pause this. And let's move this. Because I really want to build this to be neat. Now those match distance. We can actually go out a little farther. We don't have to make it a tunnel.
I don't know, I'd kind of like to. I think it might look good. Maybe we'll just dig it down like that. <laughs> a little bit of a texture glitch there. There we go. And I think that would look good perfectly there. Then we'll put our water right here. Oh, not quite enough money. How much do we need? Oh, 44. A little bit off. It's okay, though. Let's just let this play. Let an hour tick by. Or not even. We got it right now. <laughs> we can place this right up against the cliff here. We don't have to pay for these. Report of too much crime. So I think we need to place police. I think we need to add a second fire station on, a fire truck. goes up here to go to work. Obviously we're going to have to fix this. I think what we're going to end up doing is having two uh, down here. One on and one off ramp. We may end up connecting this to the rest of the network a little bit differently. It's about time to put down a little more power too here. like to get rid of the blinking buttons. You know our classrooms are full. Don't have much of a choice yet. I mean I could build another school or something but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think we need to do this uh, police station here. Um, uh, let's just do the police station, the French police station. Why not? Put it on this side. I'm going to build another row of these guys. A few more people to live in the town. Street. Building fire. All right. I think we'll get rid of some of these building fires too once we clean up some of this uh, crime. Sometimes you get art 
uh, arsonists. <laughs> we can build our metals HQ. Suppose we might as well do that. Let's put the metals HQ back here. Um, Probably right there. And then let's fill this out with. Uh, looks like we need both. Well, we need commercial and industrial. We need some people. Some more industrial up here. I think we'll build another road up here that's hopefully back to back and just short. So we can fit two, two of these guys back to back. And just short of this last, yeah, it looks like we'll fit just nicely. This last, uh, or mine extension. Pretty soon here we're going to actually have to start designing a uh, residential area for more people to actually live in. This temporary area is getting a little bit too permanent. <laughs> Couple of these in. Some school bus stops. Cycle, I need to add a jail cell. I think we will add this community college just to get our numbers up for the university when we get it soon. Which I believe will place the university back here. So we'll have the road come down here and curve past. Maybe just come down through here and curve. And then we can have an exit for that. And then this can connect. And I think that'll work pretty well. I'll place another one of these. We 
also need, before I forget, to place at least one of those. Start burning off our garbage. Obviously, as you can see, you can see exactly why I will need to um, <coughs> have better on and off ramps for this industrial section. Because too many people trying to get there at once. to building five. Still couldn't find shops or parts, huh? Oh, let's put some back here. It's nice to see the traffic flowing into there, like, I mean, it moves, but it's still just so packed. So we will definitely be fixing that in a future episode. I don't want to take the time and money to do it yet. Looks like we've got crime under under control now. Yeah, still got plenty of room for jail cells. Hmm. That's interesting. Health is looking much more well, it's actually looking a little worse. I, I have more deaths. Now we've really got some money coming in. So I think we're going to design our on and Well, no, let's not design our on and off ramps yet. I want to redesign this residential area, but I. I want to move this first because what I actually want to do is have it come in and loop around I think and come along the coast and then from there we can go up this hill that way I can have the university come right off of the highway there and then along the, the cliff side here we can do a smaller road Hey, Xilver, X-Silver. <laughs> Obviously, lots of traffic right now. Um, lots of problems. <laughs> but we'll get there. So for our next upgrade, since we were just talking about um, schooling, we're going to do the... Uh, uh, let's just put it over here for now, because we're definitely going to move this area in a minute. Um, hmm. 
I save up a little bit more money. I think we can get to about 500 grand. I think we can move this stuff. And we'll build our high density residential area. Hey, there's our university. Fire still. Nah, eh, fire's doing okay. Probably traffic's getting the last of it. Yeah. This guy wants to wealth up. Girl, whatever, wants to wealth up. I don't want to do that right now. Everybody seems pretty happy. And most of them are relatively upgraded. Alright, the higher tech buildings. I think we need five of those for processors, if I remember correctly. Yeah, five, oh, we need five medium or five high tech. Alright, either way works. Here's a chance to check out the pink line mod. You can see the pink line, which run very nicely from the community college here and out to where it'll reach and it's actually going to reach all the way up here so we'll probably get a couple of these that are going to go up to medium tech which is excellent Oh, yeah, the uh, solar panels following the sun. Always looks cool. You sit there and you can, you can actually watch them and it'll follow the sun through all its sections in the sky. It just looks a little weird from this angle. the cat in here. And my wife laughing as she locks the cat in, <laughs> in the office. So everything's coming along pretty good. We got a nice little bit of money saved up. I think we're going to call it a stream for the night and uh, publish this to YouTube. So if you guys like what I did and uh, you want to see some more, just obviously follow me on Twitch. You'll catch me when I stream. You can also uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And obviously uh, comment on the YouTube channel uh, after the fact and I will take your reactions into consideration. So. I hope you all have a good close to weekend, and uh, I will talk to you later.